Hello. Welcome to Dan Explains It All. We're here in the mountains to talk about Whitecap. Whitecap is a dual tremolo, a dual asynchronous tremolo, because it's two tremolos whose rates are totally unconnected to each other. There's an analog side and digital side. Analog side gives you the classic rate, depth, volume, simple, warm, great tremolo sound. Digital side gives you five different waveforms, tap, ramping, external tap, extra functionality that you'd expect out of a digital device. So Brady's got a nice sound of the analog tremolo running into the digital tremolo right now. You can run them like that in series or in parallel. There's a bunch of different options, so we should probably just get started with the analog side. So I'm going to switch into parallel mode. Now in parallel mode, the two tremolos run alongside each other. So you can turn the volume of one down if you only want to hear the other. So that's what we're doing right now. I'm turning volume two all the way down. So we can check out side one. Let's uh, turn our depth and rate all the way down get kind of a unity volume, something like that. This is a soft touch relay bypass, standard 9 volt power, uh, takes I think 106 milliamps, check your instruction manual to be sure. And uh, with our rate all the way down on side one, we're going to go ahead and bring the depth up. Just start to dip your volume in and out. And then as you bring it up higher, you can get that really choppy sound. Now with the rate at its slowest, you can really hear the shape of this analog waveform. It's got a really percussive attack where it kind of drops and then builds up. You can see this little white LED here is showing you the rate of that analog tremolo and also the shape. If you watch it closely, you'll see that it goes dark for a brief moment and then goes light for longer. And that's kind of the asymmetrical percussive waveform that that analog side is working with. As I turn up the rate, you're going to hear it get faster. Until it gets those almost ring mob but not quite sounds. It's a real nice sound. It's weird, it's kind of gross, but I want to listen to it for a while. Mountains. Let's check out the other side now. Side two. It's the digital side. We've got it set to about unity volume. And you'll see this light here above the tap foot switch is showing you the rate of the digital tremolo. And it'll actually match the, the depth and the waveform as well. So as I bring this depth up, I'm going to go ahead and set us to the sine wave to start. You'll see the light start to turn on and off, as well as the signal dipping and coming back. Now this is as slow as white cap will go. It's probably slower than you want, but that's what we were going for. We hope it can go as slow and even slower than you're looking for. Let's put it at about mid speed. So here we've got a really familiar sine wave tremolo. This is probably a good time since we're at high depth and medium rate to check out the five different waveforms that are on white cap. So right now we're in sine wave. Again, this is kind of a familiar sound. It follows the shape of the sinusoidal wave. Similar but more linear is a triangle wave. This just means the volume ramps up linearly, down linearly, just like a triangle. You can see the pictures here. Most choppy sounds are going to be from this middle setting, the square wave. So this is just your signal turns on and turns off. Same amount of time in each state, back and forth, determined by that rate knob. 
So the next waveform we're going to talk about, sawtooth. So the cool thing about a sawtooth wave is it starts low, climbs high, and then drops right back to low. We're going to bring the rate down so we can really show that sweep. You can feel it rise and then suddenly go away. You can also do the reverse of that in a wave that we're calling reverse sawtooth. Just starts high, falls low, and jumps back to high. This one has a nice percussive feel. You can bring the rate up. This gives a nice, it's percussive, but it's different from like a choppy square wave. I guess now is as good a time as any to max out that rate control and show how you can get those kind of ring modi sounds on the dig digital side too. So those are your five different waves on side two. The other thing you can do on side two is tap in a tempo. So this only works for side two, not side one. But with this tap switch, all you have to do is decide what tempo you want, and it'll match it. And it should only need two taps, but you can give it a bunch in a row, and it'll, it'll average it out so that your, uh, your human error doesn't affect it too much. So once you have your tempo tapped in at a quarter note, you might want it to go faster at that same tempo. And so there's a subdivision switch here. You can set it to quarter notes, which is what we're on right now. Eighth notes, which will go twice as fast, or triplets, which will go three times as fast. This way you don't have to tap super fast and super accurate to get these speeds. You can just hit your main tempo and subdivide it how you want. I'm going to go ahead and switch it to eighth notes, just because middle settings are nice. And we can talk about ramp mode. So ramp mode is activated by holding down the tap switch. When you hold it down, your rate two knob turns into a ramp knob. Basically what you can do with this is while you're holding the foot switch, your tempo will get faster or slower depending on where you set that ramp knob. So let's start it a little bit above noon. Now when I hold this tap switch, you'll hear it get faster, faster, until it eventually hits the maximum speed. And when I let go, it'll slowly work its way back. If I want that to happen really quickly, hold the switch and max out that ramp knob. So now, it'll hit max a lot faster. You can also do that in the opposite direction if you put your ramp setting below noon. So we'll go just a little bit below noon. Steady slow down. All the way down, really quick ramp down to the minimum speed. That's everything on the digital side. Let's talk about how they go together. We have two tremolos, let's use them. So we're still in parallel mode. We've got a pretty nice thing happening with a, uh, see, with a uh, reverse sawtooth, maximum depth, steady rate that we can plummet if we want. Let's blend in some of that analog tremolo. So since we're in parallel mode, they're running side by side. You can think of it as essentially having like four states. There's a moment where both tremolos are off, a moment where one tremolo is on, a moment where the other is on, and a moment where they're both on. 
And when they're both on, I'm going to go ahead and... <laughs> so, a weird thing happens when both tremolos are on. I'm going to bring both depths down so that they're both going to be just on all the time. They're a little bit off from each other, so your clean sound becomes a kind of weird filtered version of your clean sound. So if you have your rates really low, you get these weird moments where both are on, but they're out of phase with each other. It's that kind of really watery, like, I don't know other buzzwords to describe it. Stick with watery, mountainous, I don't know. It sounds nice though. Mountain stream. Mountain stream, yep. And I'm going to go ahead and try to tap. We'll set it to quarter notes. I'm going to try to tap along with the analog rate. Not with you. <laughs> and you'll see how they steadily drift apart from each other because they're not synchronized. It just gives you these interesting, slowly shifting rhythmic feels. Turn both depths all the way up. Almost catch up with each other and then drift away again. So that's parallel mode. Switch into series mode. What's happening here is your analog tremolo, side one, goes into your digital tremolo, side two. One of my favorite ways to use this is actually to get that kind of ring mod sound out of side one, and then just chop it up with side two. But you can also get those polyrhythmic sounds we were talking about. Not polyrhythmic, they're like shifting rhythms. Dan explains it all, I should use the right words. Yeah, that's it. That's all I have to say about series mode. You're taking one tremolo, turning a signal on and off, send it into another signal, or another tremolo, turns that on and off. And because they're not synchronized, you get various feels out of it. Whitecap has been in process for a long time. Yeah, Whitecap has been cursed since 2011, so here we are. Here we are. So one more thing I want to talk about on the Whitecap is the external tap control. I'm going to plug this into our external tap control. here, set a tempo, let's say 100 BPMs, it'll send that out to the digital side, and lock it in. This is just handy if you have various tap devices. One more thing before we play it out, this thing gets loud. <laughs> Especially if we go into series mode, back off the depth, max out volume one, now it's running into side two. You can actually get really drivey. And you can make it out of phase again. Yeah. So you can actually get these kind of crunchy sounds out of the white cap. 